What do you think is the most likely COVID scenario going forward uh, besides vaccines work and it goes away within the year as everybody gets vaccines? In other words, where's the risk and how do we spot it? Um, I actually felt, and I, it was hard, it's hard to separate out my assessment from my hope, um, but it really felt even before the vaccines were being rolled out that we were going to end up with this thing becoming uh, endemic in the population and losing virulence and becoming one of these coronaviruses that circulates and kids get exposed to and like they do for colds and um, that it would become less and less of a deal. I still hope that's a possibility. I don't know where to put the probabilities at. Well, I, I would say the details of that scenario matter a lot. And there's one way in which I think that's a horrifying scenario and that the, you know, effectively adding another influenza um, to the list. Say influenza, I said colds. Well, I know, but within that, it becoming endemic and Mm -hmm. us being regularly uh, infected by it could potentially be a disaster or it could, you know, descend into a level of virulence where it would be a nuisance, still a huge setback, but Mm -hmm. nonetheless, uh, it could be a tolerable one. I think there's a possibility that the vaccine, as ill-advised as uh, launching into a massive vaccine vaccination campaign uh, that is not evolutionarily well thought out is, it's actually possible that this could work Mm -hmm. and that the um, escapees will have downsides associated with them evolutionarily that will... What kind of escapees are we talking about? Virus? Evolutionary escapees, yeah. The virus. The virus Mm -hmm. uh, escaping um, susceptibility. But I think it's actually very likely that what happens is that the arms race produces the natural uh, counterpart on our side, which is that, you know, we we will be generating vaccines rapidly, it will be escaping, and we will be chasing the virus, and um, we will learn a lot about the consequences of repeated vaccination. Um, so anyway, there, there are a lot of scenarios, and I would say many possibilities are open here, including presumably ones we haven't thought of. Yep. Um, but, I'm, you know, cross your fingers that uh, this vaccination campaign, and there are ways in which, if it makes any sense, it hasn't been explained to us how it does, mm-hmm. the vaccinating of people who've had COVID still doesn't make any sense to me. Right. Um, and it's a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So why are we exposing them to the hazard of the vaccine? We know nothing about the long-term implications of that. It seems indefensible. Yep. But um, I guess we'll see. Yep. 